Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm doing a video all about saving versus splurging. So if you are wondering what products you should be saving money on, like you can find quality that's just as good at the drugstore for half the price, and which products you should be saving for and really investing in, this video is for you. I actually got this idea from my friend Marianne, so thank you so much Marianne for giving me this idea because I think that it's something that people are wondering about because not everybody has the interest or the time to try a bunch of different products the way that I do. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let's get it. I think what I'm going to do is go through all of the things you can save money on first because I'm sure that's what people really want me to get into right off the bat. The first thing that came to mind was lipstick. There are so many options for lipstick at the drugstore and there are a lot of affordable brands that you can order online that aren't available in stores that are great options for lipstick. So first available at the drugstore, my favorite would definitely be NYX. NYX is a great, great, great drugstore brand. If you're looking for a really good professional quality, a lot of their products are awesome and I really love their matte lipsticks. All of their lipsticks that come in a tube are actually amazing. I only have a couple of them. There's a bunch in my kit and I don't want to dig them out, but I have whipped caviar that I use on my own. I will be going back to buy other lipsticks like when I need new colors. I'm kind of on like a buying freeze right now because I've been going through my collection and realizing like it's getting out of hand. So I'm on a bit of a buying, buying freeze, but when I do decide that I want some new lipsticks, I'm definitely going to go back and check out probably all the colors in this collection because I think they would be great for my kit as well. These are great. They stay on a long time. They don't smell the best. They smell kind of like metallic. Ugh, yeah, like kind of like plasticky and metallic, but that's what you do get at the drugstore. The one thing that I notice is that the fragrance isn't quite there. However, the quality is. So if you are somebody that's not necessarily looking for a lipstick that smells good enough to eat, check out NYX. They stay on a long time. They're nice and smooth on the lip. They're great. Check it out. Couple brands that I have to shout out because I love them so much are Makeup Geek and ColourPop. So ColourPop has amazing liquid lipsticks. This is one of their mattes, I believe. I prefer the satin formula because it's not so dry, but the matte formula like does not move. I'm obsessed. Uh, my favorite color is Echo Park in the satin finish. It's like probably one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's in my makeup bag, I think. I have a few. So Catching Feels and Echo Park for ColourPop are my two favorites. These are, I think, $5 each. Like, you really can't go wrong when something is $5. And I've had these for a couple years now, and there is no chance of them running out. Honestly, ColourPop has sales all the time. I'll link everything that I'm talking about down below and you guys can go and check it out, but it is so worth signing up for the ColourPop emails because oftentimes they'll have like 20% off and free shipping or or free shipping internationally or whatever and it's so worth it. Their, li their liquid lipsticks are amazing. They do have regular lipsticks and their lippy, oop, and their lippy sticks are amazing. I have this color which I love. It's called I Heart This and it is the perfect raspberry red. Whenever I wear it, I get so many questions about it. So make sure you check out ColourPop. It is such a great option. Next is Makeup Geek. I love their plush, what is this called? Plush cream. I only have one color, so I am guilty of ordering like one or two things from each brand and then being like, it's awesome. But this is amazing. I've had this for a couple years as well. This lasts so well on the lip and it is so like cushiony and comfortable. I really am big on my lip products being comfortable. I don't like when my lips get too dry. I like something that's a little bit more hydrating. I find that it's more flattering for my lips too because I don't have the biggest lips. So I find that things that are completely matte sometimes can make my lips look smaller. So anything that's matte looking but not drying, I'm obsessed with and this is a really great option. So these are the plush creams by Makeup Geek. I have the color Old Soul and it's like the perfect grayish purple without being too gray or too purple. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll link this for you guys down below as well. So I can't really talk about lipstick without talking about lip liners. These ones are both tiny because I use them all the time. This is the Annabelle Big Show Gel Liner. This is a great dupe for MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner, which by the way is being discontinued. This is the perfect dupe for In Anticipation, the color by MAC. I love these because they're almost the exact same formula. These ones sort of like wear down. I've, you go through this quicker than you do the MAC ones, but it stays on the lips. You don't have to touch it up until you eat. Like it's actually amazing. If you want just like a regular pencil, the NYX suede lip liners are an amazing option. This is the color Whipped Caviar, so it goes really nicely with that lipstick. I have these in my kit. They are unreal. I wish that this had a bigger shade range. That's one thing at the drugstore that you'll notice is not everything has a huge shade range. 
However, this comes in all the colors that you should need. It's got like a brown, a red, dark. The NYX lip pencils come in so many different options. So again, NYX is a great, great, great drugstore brand that you can always check out and you're going to find something that works for you there. So the next thing you can save on is eyeshadow. So I am super guilty for going out and buying somewhat expensive eyeshadow palettes and it's just so unnecessary. Every time I do it, I look at my collection and I'm like, I did not need another eyeshadow palette. However, if you were looking to save, there are so many good options for saving money on eyeshadow. The three that came to mind for me are BH Cosmetics. This is an oldie. You can't get this anymore, so that's why I never use it on my channel. But this was the Shan XO palette. This was a double-ended lipstick and eyeshadow palette. And the quality of these eyeshadows was unreal. I also have from BH... I also have the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. I think that she has like a deluxe one available now that has a lot of the same colors. This was so beautiful, like perfect like rosy and gold colors. Anyway, BH Cosmetics is unreal. It comes from the States, so if you have a huge order, you might have to pay duty on it. I ordered each of these individually and never had to pay duty, so hopefully you guys don't have to if you're in Canada. But the price is so worth it. I think these were like $20 each, which is pretty good. It's hard to find an eyeshadow palette with this many colors. So it's definitely worth checking out. BH Cosmetics also does those big huge palettes similar to Morphe ones but I think there's tinier pans and more colors. Anyway, definitely check them out especially if you're a new makeup artist and you don't really know how to keep stocking your kit or if you're new to makeup and you don't want to spend a ton of money on things, check out BH Cosmetics. It's a really great option. Another great option which if you watch a lot of YouTube videos you will know is Morphe. I tried other Morphe palettes and I didn't like them as much as this. This one is said to be like a special formula and I, I would agree like you can definitely tell the difference in the formula between regular Morphe eyeshadows and this. However, the regular Morphe eyeshadows are good for the price as well. Like you do get what you paid for in makeup and it's always good to remember that. However, these are just as good as my professional eyeshadows. I have them on right now. That's how I use how I created this like goldish warm toned look. I used the Ring the Alarm palette. And these are awesome. And there was four of them, but when my mom was at Ulta in the States, the one that I don't have was sold out, which was fine because it was pretty much a neutral palette and I have all those colors and other palettes anyway. Um, Jaclyn Hill also has a big, huge palette with Morphe that was huge last year and it's a really good investment as well. I think it's $38 US. The thing is with ordering from like these companies that are based out of the States is unless you're going to be in the States to buy it, sometimes you do have to pay duty on it. So just don't make a huge order. It is worth like the price difference to try like cheaper eyeshadows and ordering like one palette at a time, you'd probably be fine. Morphe also does really great brushes, so that's another place where you could save money is brushes with Morphe or with Sigma. Check out Morphe, go on their website. If you're in the States and there's an Ulta, you can buy their eyeshadows typically at most Ulta stores as well. So I talked about Makeup Geek eyeshadows in my last favorites video. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows and if you're new to makeup, they're a really, really great shadow to start with because they're super easy to blend with. I love every single eyeshadow that I've ever gotten from Makeup Geek. I really want to do another order soon, but you can definitely save some money on eyeshadows by ordering palettes or by ordering the single shadows from Makeup Geek. I think they're 4 or $5 each and then you pay for the palette. And if you're in the States, they're selling it at Target now. So any Canadians, if you're going down to the States, definitely check out this display that they have for Makeup Geek within Target stores and you'll find something that works really well for you. I love Makeup Geek and I their quality is probably my favorite out of all of the affordable brands that you can get online or in certain stores in the States. I think Makeup Geek would be like my number one recommendation so check them out. I've never been disappointed with anything I've gotten from Makeup Geek so definitely give that a try. ColourPop also does pressed eyeshadows. I really enjoy their pressed eyeshadows. I don't really enjoy like their super shock eyeshadows that come in these white containers. I just don't find that they have the pickup and the pigment that I'm looking for. They're fine like if you're a little bit younger and you're not looking to wear like a ton of makeup these would be fine and they are I think they're more affordable. They might be the same. I can't remember. But I really, really love their pressed eyeshadows. This is the palette that I picked up. It was, well, I didn't pick it up. I ordered it online because you can't get it in stores in Canada. I don't think you can get it in stores anywhere, but I don't know that for sure. I got that You Had Me at Hello palette. This is still available. I really loved the colors that were available. This was $20 or less. Check their website out down below. I'll have everything linked as I said and this would be a really great option for those of you who want to try an affordable palette as well. I hope I'm not giving you guys too many options. Like I want to 
I really want to illustrate that you don't have to go to Sephora and drop 60 bucks on a palette to have like a good payoff for your money. Another area where you can save money is blush. So you can get blushes on ColourPop's website and on Makeup Geek's website. I have not tried them, but based on the quality of the other products that I've tried, I'm sure they would be great. I've seen other people use the Makeup Geek blush palettes and they are absolutely gorgeous. So go and check out Makeup Geek's website and check out the blushes that they offer. If you're shopping in the drugstore, my my biggest recommendation would be Milani blushes are completely gorgeous. This is the color Luminoso. These are a really great dupe for the MAC Mineralize blushes, which you can use around your eyes as well, and they're really, really pretty. You can use this around your eyes as well. I've done that. This stays on really well, and the regular blushes, like the matte blushes, are beautiful as well. There's one that, the ones that have sort of like a rose imprint, I think I have one in my kit somewhere but I don't want to dig it out because my kids are messed right now, but I really enjoy Milani blushes. So if you're at the drugstore looking for a blush, check out Milani. I know you can get them in Canada. You can get them at Superstore, Lawton's. They used to have them at Walmart, but I don't think you can get them at Walmart anymore. Check out Lawton's and Atlantic Superstores that have a big cosmetic area and you should be able to find Milani. I feel like I saw it at a Shoppers a little while ago too. So select Shoppers might have them, possibly. Anyhow, check out Milani. You'll really enjoy the blushes. You don't have to spend a ton on blushes at Sephora, at MAC, wherever to have a good payoff in your blush. So the next area where you can save money is highlighter. So there are so many highlighters out there. My favorite highlighters from the drugstore or that are affordable is Makeup Revolution, which wait till you see the size of this. It's like half, a si half the size of my face, so this would last forever. Makeup, like look at that pigment. You do not need, like look at that. You do not need, I hope that this is showing up well on camera because it, in my little viewfinder, it looks like crap, but in person, it's like, whoa, that's a pigmented, amazing highlighter. Makeup Revolution, I think I, I got this at Ulta. I think that this was like $7, and you can order from Ulta online if you're in Canada. You just obviously have to pay the exchange, but on the website, they show what it would be in Canadian dollars, which is super helpful. Um, but I got this, I think, for $7. <laughs> so a big highlighter that's this big for $7 is pretty darn good. Also really love the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter. So I did say earlier that I don't like the Super Shock eyeshadows. I do like the Super Shock highlighters. This one is called Lunch Money. I have a couple actually and these you can just, they're almost like they feel almost like wet and they're so nice and you can just tap them onto your cheek. Oh, so good. They're a nice like subtle lit from within highlight. Very nice and natural. So check out Colourpop's website yet again and you will find some amazing highlighters on there. On to eyeliner. Another area where you can save money. If you're not seeing the trend, basically you can save money in almost every area of your face. There are things where you should splurge and those are coming up but there's a lot of areas where you can save. Eyeliner is another one. So I really love, if you're looking for a liquid eyeliner, the NYX, I think it's, yeah, matte liquid liner is my favorite. It, the, one of the reasons is this amazing brush that it comes with, but you can always take your own brush and dip it in if you feel like that's what you want to do or take your brush and just wipe the liner off of the wand and then apply it that way if you don't want to use this little brush. But honestly, I like the brushes that come in here. This is an amazing eyeliner. It does not rub off. It does not cry off. It's awesome. If you are somebody that has issues with your eyeliner transferring to like your eyelid, check out this one. It's a beauty. And I think it's only like, I think it's $10 or less. And NYX is sold, just in case anyone's wondering, at Shoppers and Lawton's. I don't think you can get NYX at the Superstore, the Atlantic Superstore, but you can get it for sure at Lawton's and Shoppers if you're in Canada. If you're in the States, you can get it at Walgreens. I think you can get it anywhere in the States. You can get everything anywhere in the States. If you like more of a pencil, I really like these Pixie ones. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen by Pixie. I have the color Coco. Is that what it's called? Black Coco. Even better. So I love these. These are a great dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear eyeliners, which are being discontinued. So if you are looking for a really great creamy eyeliner, check this one out. You can take this with the brush and apply it onto your eyelid as well. I also took this and applied it all over my lid once and used it as a primer when I didn't have one. So that's another thing you can use these creamy liners for. So this is a great option. I think this was a $10 or less and I got it at Shoppers Drug Mart. So last thing that you can save on is nail polish. So my favorite nail polish ever 
is Revlon. So I don't use a whole lot of Revlon products to be honest. I don't know why, but because their products are good, their lipsticks are good as well. So that's another lipstick brand that you could try. I really like their lipsticks and I really like their nail polishes. This is the color Romantic, Romantique, excuse me, Romantique. And I think I'm actually gonna put this on my nails as soon as I'm done filming this video. This nail polish stays on better than OPI, than, what other kind of nail polish do I have in here? I guess OPI would be like everybody's favorite nail polish. So there's a few different formulas in the Revlon. There's the Colorstay Gel Envy, which I really, really like. You top that with this Colorstay Gel Envy top coat. I actually top all of my nail polish with this and it helps it to stay on so long, especially on your toes. It's unbelievable. But the regular formula stays on by itself also really well. This stays on by itself better than this. These two have to go together. But if you put these two together, it is like, oh my God, it is the recipe for success. I also purchased the Essie Gel Top Coat, which came out a little bit later, I think. Doesn't really matter, they're both out now. And that on top of any nail polish works too. So you can use this Gel Envy on top of any nail polish and it will extend the life of your nail polish, like I would say by several days, which can be, you know, nail polish chips pretty easily. It doesn't matter what kind it is. But the Revlon nail polishes work better than any other nail polish I've ever tried. So definitely try that. You do not have to spend $15 on a nail polish by OPI that's gonna chip in a day. You don't. Buy the Revlon, get the gel top coat, and these together will cost you will cost you the same amount as one OPI nail polish. Mark my words, it's worth the money. So one area that I couldn't really decide if you should spend or splurge was bronzer because in some cases, expensive bronzers are better. Uh, like my Tarte bronzer, which is really like a contour powder, but I use it, overuse it, as in I use it as a bronzer. This is unreal, and it's not sold by itself, but it's sold in this palette that's about $50. But then you can get the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer for 20 bucks, which smells like heaven. It actually reminds me a lot of Florida because I bought this when I was in Florida. They do sell it in Canada. I don't know why I bought it in Florida. And it oh, just reminds me of being on vacation. But this is an amazing bronzer. The one thing that I would say about this is that it doesn't stay on the cheeks as long as a more expensive bronzer. But I will say that this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer blends well and goes on the skin better than any MAC bronzer, any Estee Lauder bronzer that I've tried. What else do I have in there that I don't really like? That's it really. I guess I just used MAC bronzers a lot and I just find that they're probably the worst ones that I've tried, which sucks because I used to work there. Some of them aren't so bad, like Refined Golden is pretty good. Matte bronze is okay, but like I find that they go on kind of patchy and you really have to work them into the skin. They do stay on for quite a while after you work them into the skin, but this goes on way easier. So if you're a beginner, go pick up one of these Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. I have the lighter color, I think. I can't remember, but my favorite is the Tarte. So I'm half, I'm halfway. Like, you know, there are so many beautiful bronzers out there by high-end brands that are so good, but then you have this. So I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm on the fence and I'm unsure, so I guess this is an area where I can't give you any expert advice yet. You have to just go out and try and base, and purchase based on your budget. So if you don't have a huge budget for makeup, which who does, unless you have a lot of money, who does, go buy this and this will last you a long time. There are three areas of makeup. Oh, wait, I have one more save. I have one more save, I forgot about this. Mascara you can buy at the drugstore. It will be just as good in terms of the effect it gives you on your lashes as a high-end mascara. My favorite one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think this is about $12. It's one of the more expensive at the drugstore, but L'Oreal mascaras are the best ones. So either this or the L'Oreal Voluminous, which I don't think I have anymore. I think I got rid of it because it was too old. So I probably threw it out, but I, I had one. I swear I had one. I had one in my kit because I love it. I buy this for my kit and I have used it, not this exact one, but I have used this one on myself as well. And it's a great, 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 great mascara. This is the best mascara at the drugstore. If you're looking for a new mascara that gives you volume, length, curl, go get this one. Okay, now we're actually onto the splurges. So you guys know what I'm gonna say. Skincare, you cannot skimp on. I have not found skincare that is affordable that works as well as high-end skincare. I just haven't. I think that there's a real correlation between price and good ingredients 
and I think that any company would try as hard as they could to make their price their products very affordable. So I'm gonna say splurge when it comes to skincare. My favorite skincare that I'm very into right now is Babor, which you can get at Be Gorgeous Beauty in Halifax via phone or in person. I love Babor. My mom and my sister have used Babor as well. Everybody I know that's ever used this brand loves it. It's a German line. Germans know what they're doing when it comes to skincare and it's beautiful. Like this is in particular, this is the Hydro RX serum and cream. It's like the dynamic duo. It really saved my skin this winter. So, I mean, these together are a hundred dollars. So that's a lot of money. It's no doubt a lot of money for like five months of skincare, maybe less, but in my opinion, like I would forego foundation if I had healthy skin. I will skimp on everything else and save money to invest in my skincare because I just feel like it is the most important thing you can do in your beauty regime. To me, personally. Some people might say that's ridiculous and you're telling people to spend money that they don't need to spend. I'm not. I just, for me personally, skincare is the most important thing. There's nothing more important than that. It's more important than anything else you put on your skin. So I love that. Another brand that I love is Drunk Elephant. I just bought this cream over the weekend. I've been using it at night. And I mean, it's, it's heavenly. And I wake up and my skin is so soft. Very similar to this. But this is heavier and creamier. And I just felt like I needed something a little bit more intense just overnight. I'm still using this during the day. And I love it. And this is perfect under makeup. This is nice under makeup too. I did test it under makeup. But I do prefer it at night. And it's just like, oh, it's so luxurious. I love Drunk Elephant. I also used, the, I also used their Virgin Marula Oil. <sighs> that with this overnight. Oh my god. I wake up and I'm so hydrated. It's like my skin is so plump and hydrated. Then I get a shower and it's like gone. But I know that it's doing good things for my skin. And I actually listened to a podcast where the creator of Drunk Elephant was interviewed. And once I heard a lot more about the company and the ingredients and how they only use organic things and there's no additives and all that stuff, I just really was like, I have to, I have to try that brand. And everything I've tried has been amazing. They also gave me a little sample. They also gave me a little sample of their eye cream. It's the Seed Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to do. I'm sure it's just like any other eye cream. It's supposed to be anti-aging and like caring for your skin around your eyes, but not 100% sure. You guys know that my ride or die eye cream is the Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus. Normally I have the big size, but I bought this at Shoppers and they don't sell the big size there. Um, I, I love this. I love, this is, my ride or die. Another area where I would not skimp is foundation. So I personally have not tried a foundation that is as good from the drugstore or from an affordable brand. Comment down below if you guys have a suggestion for me because I'm always looking for some, but I have not found an affordable foundation that is as good as a high-end foundation. So to me, high-end is MAC and up. So MAC foundation, I think their Studio Fix foundation's around 30 something dollars, probably 32 or $33 right now. That's a great foundation. Go and check that out if you have not. Uh, to the most expensive I've tried is the By Terry Foundation, which is about $148. So obviously, I, I just think that foundation, when it comes to foundation, you get what you paid for. So if you cannot spend $148 on foundation, don't worry, I can't either. So if you can, get the By Terry. If you can't, try something like NARS. NARS is a really great option. I think this is about $60. The Too Faced Born This Way, which is what I have on right now, and I have a review posted that I'll link down below, uh, is $49, which is really good for Sephora. The Marc Jacobs. This is an empty bottle. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. Uh, the Remarkable Foundation. I think this was $69-ish, $70-ish dollars. You get what you paid for when it comes to foundation, so it's completely up to your budget. I have not tried an affordable foundation that I like. The one that I have tried that's okay is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable. A lot of people on YouTube use this. Um, it's all right. It's not my favorite. I don't find it lasts that long no matter what primer or setting powder I use. It's a summer color for me, so maybe I'll try it again this summer. It would be a really great one to travel with because if I broke it or lost it, I wouldn't care. So I'll probably do that. I know that lots of people have on YouTube and otherwise have drugstore foundations that work for them. I just personally, my skin breaks out. I'm so sensitive. And I think it's another area, it's another item where 
the ingredients are important for me personally and I'm willing to spend more. I just am. And if you're not, that's okay too. It's not like high-end versus drugstore. It, this is just my personal experience. So primer is another area where I would splurge. I haven't found a drugstore primer that I like as much as... I haven't found any primer that I like as much as this Temp2 Base Smooth and Matte Primer. This is the most amazing primer I've ever tried. This is what it looks like. I'll link it for you guys down below. It's about $35 US. So that's not really a splurge. I would say that's like medium. <laughs> medium priced <laughs> but uh, for some people that may be really expensive I know that NYX primers have a really good reputation don't really like them personally um, but the more I find that primer is one of those things that the more you spend the better the results you get so just make sure that you're choosing one that fits your budget and fits your skin type and you should be fine last thing last thing and then we're out of here hair care you guys know I love Moroccan oil and hair I, I just I don't think that any affordable hair care is going to do what a high-end hair care is going to do. I don't think that the affordable is going to do what the high-end can do. I just don't. I, I've i tried a lot of different products over the years on my hair. And, I mean, Moroccan oil is my favorite currently. I do also use AG hair care um, as well. And I have a video coming up all about my hair and what I do and how I do it and stuff like that. Um, which somebody requested, so thank you whoever requested that. And... I, um, but I'm gonna wait until I just have it cut because it's, it's a little dead around the ends right now. So I'm gonna wait until it's freshly cut and freshly colored and then tell you all about it. Uh, but I just really think that high-end hair care is worth it and I, you don't have to use it as much. That's the other thing. It's not like makeup where you use it every day. If you're taking really good care of your hair, you don't have to wash it every day. And I know that some people are going to comment on this and be like, I have to wash my hair every day. It's super oily. And some people do, but most people do not have to wash their hair every day. So based on the people that I know, if you are, you know, investing in your hair and going to a nice salon and getting it colored and getting it cut every four, three, four or five, six months, whatever, even once a year, it's good money that you're spending to get your hair properly cared for. So you have to keep that going at home, in my opinion. So anyway, don't ever spend money that you don't have on the way you look because you're probably one of the few people that's going to notice it. But if you do have the money and it does make you feel good, I don't think that anybody should be made to feel bad about spending money on making themselves feel good ever, 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 ever. It's everything. That's everything. That's where I would save and where I would splurge. So happy to say that I have way more saves than splurges, which surprises me a little bit because... I have a lot of makeup. So I hope that this helped those of you who wanted to figure out where to save and where to splurge because it can be hard. There's so many products out there now, like so many products out there. And it can be overwhelming, especially to people who are new to makeup or people who don't spend every waking moment on YouTube watching YouTube reviews like me and like some of you probably. So anyway, I hope that this helped any of you out there who are watching this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. Please subscribe before you leave. It really, really helps me if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's so great to see this little community that we're building growing. So thank you guys so, so, so much for following along. As always, let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next and feel free to get in touch with me. All my socials are down below. I love hearing from you guys, so never be afraid to reach out. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.